Your friend Camille is prepared for everything, so you can count on this fact. If it is raining, then Camille will have her umbrella with her. Based on this fact, which of the following four situations are impossible? One, it's raining and she has her umbrella. Two, it's raining and she doesn't have her umbrella. Three, it's not raining and she has her umbrella. And four, it's not raining and she doesn't have her umbrella. Situation two probably stands out to you. It's raining, but she doesn't have her umbrella. This directly contradicts the fact. She's always supposed to have her umbrella when it's raining. And with this in mind, the first situation is clearly acceptable. As for the other two, the fact says nothing about Camille's umbrella usage when it isn't raining, so they're okay too. Facts of the form if A then B like this are called conditional statements. Here, A is it's raining, and B is Camille has her umbrella. The only situation that contradicts a conditional statement is A and not B. This is a simple rule, but it's easy to get confused in practice. For example, these cards have a letter on one side and a number on the other. Pete tells you, if a card has an X on one side, then it must have an even number on the other, but you're not sure you believe him. Which cards do you need to flip over to confirm this statement? Take a second to think about it. Here, A is X on one side and B is even number on the other. The one type of card inconsistent with this will have an X on one side and an odd number on the other. So surely we should flip the first card. If it had an odd number on the other side, Pete would be wrong. From here, a lot of people will want to flip the fourth card, looking for a letter that isn't an X. But this doesn't prove anything. Remember, the only card that contradicts Pete is X and not even. Card 2 can be ruled out as well. It can't have another letter on the other side. So since we're only looking for cards with X's on them, we need not flip it. Finally, card 3. This could have an X on the other side, which would indeed contradict Pete. So to check the accuracy of Pete's statement, you have to flip cards 1 and 3. It helps to figure out exactly what you're looking for before you start looking for it. If you like logical challenges like this, then you can find more of them at Brilliant.org.